All right, so let's go ahead and open up R. When you first open it up, it probably looks some, somewhat like this, right? So what are we dealing with? Um, we have the console here, which is the large chunk. We have the environment window on the upper right, and we have different options here, files, plots, packages, help, viewer. Now, what you want to do is to start working with R is open a script. You can do this by here, either through file or through open new script, and you choose an R script. Okay. So basically, whenever you're using R, you have these four windows here. You can change the settings and change the look and the colors and, and change how the, the windows are arranged. But basically, this is the standard look. Now, the main part where you're going to do everything is um, the script itself. Think of the script as a, as a journal, right? There you write everything you do, everything you want to do with the data you write down in code and you save that script. And then later, you can just easily repeat it, change it, right? Rather than using an interface, like a manual interface, um, which is common in other languages. Some people use Stata that way, but also SPSS is sometimes used that way, where you can kind of click through an interface and, and, and then conduct your analysis. Well, the dis big disadvantage of that is, is that once you've done it, it's manual and it's lost. You can't easily do it again, right? You have, you have to go through every step over and over. So this, this is why scripts are really useful. And this is why we're going to be using scripts with R as well, right? Um, so here you, you write anything. For example, um, this is my first script, right? So this is where you write, write code, do your analysis, right? When you execute code that you've written in the script, either by clicking run or by clicking uh, control enter, it is committed to R and R runs it. And whatever R is running, it shows down here in the console, okay? You can also type in commands in the console itself, but I don't really recommend doing it because it's not, um, uh, kept. It's not documented, right? You do it once and it's submitted and it's gone. So I almost never use the console, right? You can you pretty much ignore it. Um, however, when you do sometimes look at a table or, or want to look at the data, it is displayed in the console. So, so it's almost like an output window that you want to look at um, from time to time when you're running things. Now, the environment on the upper right hand corner is, is interesting because when you create something in R, let's say a table, or you import some data sets that we're going to do here in a second, they're going to appear here on the right hand corner, right? So you can easily select them, look at them and so forth. I'm going to show you in a second here. Now, this bottom right corner here is, it does a bunch of things. The main thing is that when you're producing a figure or a graph, so we're going to do later in this course, they usually pop up here and you can look at them, visualize them, right? Um, also, you can check which packages are installed in R. I'm going to talk about that in a, in a minute as well, but um, uh, this is going to be really important. First of all, um, also, when you want to get help um, about a certain command or a certain function and you don't know what it's doing, you can get a help file, which will also pop up here. Lastly, it also shows you sort of the folder that you're currently operating in in R on your local drive. It shows you the folders here. Basically, for now, you can ignore this and you can ignore the console. We're just going to deal with the script and the environment window. Okay, this is your basic R interface setup.